Hello, this is Jeff, and I have been monkeying around with things. And I don't know how this is going to go, but this fellow Shrike asked me these questions, and I broke them out into a little file so I can go through them. <clears throat> Some touch screen questions. Can you, you can you, <clears throat> using only a touch screen and your fingers, open a new session? So I click there, I click... Uh, I have mine set to run in administrator mode, so it prompts me. And then I click uh, um, new from template maybe, and I'm going to click basic. Uh, I'm going to, I want to enter some keyboard thing. So I can click here. Where's my little keyboard thing? There it is. And I can say, you know, hi. Hi. Okay. And it's 441. That's fine. Okay. And that opens me a new project. And now I click record. I can close the keyboard thing. <clears throat> and I will turn off the metronome. And I will hit record. And there I'm recording something. And I hit stop. And that worked. So that's the first one. Arm track for record. Record some MIDI clip. So similarly, I will turn this one off. And... Uh, hit record and hit my guitar <coughs> and there we go we have some MIDI clip and we hit stop and then we could do views and um, we could uh... <sighs> let's go back to the list let's stick with the list um, record some mini clip. Move the clip left and right through track measures. So th this, you're stuck because you can't select the clip. So if you could select the clip, if you really want to do all this, you could do edit, oops, edit, cut, and you can drag, drag this little guy somewhere new, do edit, paste, and I've moved it to a different track. So uh, what I do, edit, undo, undo, paste, select track two. Can I put the focus on track two? I'm not sure I can. Edit, paste. Yep, I did. Okay, so I was able to paste it onto a different track. I would never do that. Uh, I would just, you know, drag it with the mouse, um, drag it around. Okay, uh, <clears throat> there um, is a virtual keyboard controller here that you can play. Um, and you can play, you know, um, let's see if I can move that. Uh, insert, soft synth, <clears throat> synth, Rapture Pro, uh, go ahead. And see if I can get um, synth inserted and maybe play something and have it make sounds. So during this section I play something and I can hear it but I didn't record the output of it and I deleted the project when I was done so there's nothing to hear. Um, so you can play chords. Um, when you come farther out it plays them harder Closer and softer, farther out is harder. Um, uh, that's basically the idea for this thing. Um, you can, you know, move the keyboard so that it plays different parts. I believe that you can make it smaller. Um, uh, but I don't normally use this. You can also switch it to do the keyboard. So if you don't have a um, whatever, a, um, uh, touch screen, you can use a keyboard to do the same thing. Okay. So, and then one of the other questions was, can you use, so there's piano, so that was, you know, like playing in, playing something with the keyboard. One of the things you can do is you can go, um, if you get here, you can move these faders. You can grab two or three of them at a time and move all of them 
separately um, as if it were a controller. I don't do this a whole lot. The other thing that you can do is um, you can uh, open up the Pro Channel, turn turn on this guy, and then you can move these guys with your fingers. And um, if you uh, um, tricky about it, you can move them around, you can sweep them. I believe that you can change the cue. To tell you the truth, I don't normally, I normally come down here and grab these guys. Um, so you can sweep, change cue, highs and lows, but you can also just grab the dots and move them around. Um, obviously you can get uh, gain and frequency with your finger really easily. Cue with your fingers is a little bit trickier. You can do it, you see there, I think I've got the cue I'm moving the cue with two fingers, but it's really hard. Most times when you grab with two fingers, you end up uh, moving other nodes that you didn't mean to. Uh, but you can always just grab the knobs. You know, woo. Um, touch off. All right. Um, what else is on this list? Move the clip around, copy the clip to another track, edit, create, erase notes in the clip using piano roll view. Yeah, no, I can't do that. So if I, <clears throat> I'm going to hit the keyboard, hit D, and then from here you'd think that I could click there and get to piano roll view, but you see I'm touching and holding and I'm not able to get the piano roll view. If I come here with my mouse and I can double click or I can select which view I want, I can get that open and here I am and I, I can't I can I can zoom pinch zoom here let me show you that so I can pinch zoom here as well right I can slide it in and out um, so and I can slide it this way I can slide it that way right and it's kind of cool to be able to move it around uh, now if you hit shift Z of course you get different behavior when you do the zooming on the different tracks um, because depending on which track you're over right like if I zoom over a non-focus track I make all the non-focus tracks bigger if I zoom over uh, the focus track right like that the one that's red right here then I impact that one see so it's all kind of you know whatever uh, one of the coolest things I would say about touch is it's quiet. So if someone's busy performing, you can busy move around in here. You can um, drag in plugins too. Uh, let's see. So if I want to get an equalizer, I can drag that. Hello. Drag it in there. Um, <coughs> whoops. There we go. So um, you can drag plugs around you can then touch the plugs now the when you when you use the plugs that's going to the touchness of the plugs is going to depend on the maker of the plug so um, if we go get uh, a cakewalk EQ we'll be better off so we can add a new node and we can move the nodes around we can change the cue on the node we can try to change the cue on the node maybe we can uh, Did I forget how to do all this? Move. Where's my cue? There it is. So I can change it that way. Uh, I suppose this is the old LP64 EQ. We should probably be using the LP EQ instead. Let's try that. So we double click to, uh, to add an equalizer. Click the presets. Can I get to the presets? There we go, I just had them. Right, so you can move it around. You can, can I get to the queue? No, it's hard to, it's hard to do the queue without using the button. You can, um, once you've got the focus on one, the button's enabled, and then you can mess with the queue in the game um, just by doing the dials. Uh, hope this has helped. Uh, that's all I got.